Hey babes, welcome back to another video on my channel. It is currently like five in the morning, so I, and I just woke up, so I'm a little tired. <laughs> but it's been like six months, I think. I'd actually have to double check, but I'm pretty sure it's been six months since my last like full photo card collection video. So we are in due for another one. Is that the right wording? I don't think so. We're due for another, I don't know. Why blurry? <laughs> So yeah, I will be showing my entire photo card collection today. Um, or no, I'm not, because this video is gonna be split up into two parts because um, I don't think I'll be able to film it all at once. So this video, I'm gonna do my A5 binders, which is La Seraphim and Espa. I'm gonna do my Twice binder, and then I'm gonna do my Mixed Groups binder. And then in my second video, I will do Luna and Woods. So yeah. Um, the next video probably won't be out for like a week though because uh, I have like so much to edit right now. So yeah, it'll, it'll take me a while. But anyway, we're just gonna get into it. I'm gonna start with my A5 binders. I'm gonna start with Les Seraphim first because my Les Seraphim collection is a lot smaller. So here's my A5 Les Seraphim binder. I collect former member Kim Garam, and then I also collect Chewan and Gazuha. My collecting rules for Les Seraphim are everything for Garam, and then two cards per era per member for Chewan and Kazuha. So I'm collecting the Black Petrol and Blue Cypher versions of Fearless, and then the Iridescent Opal and Frozen Aquamarine for Antifragile, just as like a idea of how I collect for them. So here's my A5 binder. I got this on Amazon. I just searched up like clear A5 binder, but this is currently what I have for Fearless. Um, I might have this Kazuha on the way, I'm not sure, but yeah. Um, and then we have Anti-Fragile, which is so sad right now. Um, hopefully in the next six months, these are done. And then we have my Garam section of the binder. So for her, I try to collect everything. That's the goal. I think I'm only missing like seven cards of hers now. Um, hopefully I'd like to finish her in this new year. Or it's been a while now, it's already like February, but you know, I'd like to finish her by the end of the year. But yeah. I'm planning on putting her Music Bank broadcast card here when I get that. And then I do have some like duplicates in here just to like fill out pages a little bit better. Um, because I would like like full four pockets of her and not just like a random gap or whatever, if that makes any sense, but yeah. And then like, see, I have another duplicate here, but I'm planning on putting like her Yes24 card here whenever I get that. And then this is probably my current favorite Garam photo card I own, or this one. I think this one is, this is like some fan sign winner, I think. Um, and then this is like a Shopee card. I think these are like probably two of my favorites of hers currently that I own. But once I get her Music Bank broadcast, that will probably be my overall favorite, but that was my La Seraphim binder. And then this little um, charm that I have, I got this on AliExpress. I just looked up like phone charms or whatever, um, or like phone keychain charm, and then I found this one and it's very cute. But I might get a different one because it doesn't really fit all too well, but yeah. Here is my next binder. This is my OT4 Espa collection. Once again, this binder is from Amazon. I just searched like clear A5 binder. For Espa, my collecting rules are OT4 for album cards, except for like the SMCU like group version and same with the SM Palace group version. Um, I'm just gonna collect like the Espa versions because some of these girls are a little expensive to collect. So yeah. Anyway, I have everything complete up until SMC Palace though. Um, I don't have any cards for that yet. And then for non-album, I collect random OT4 sets here and there. And then I do have some like random pods and stuff for random members or just like random cards that I don't have OT4. But first we have Savage. This is the Hallucination Quest version. Um, I am really like intrigued by the direction that Espa has gone or more so the direction SM has uh, 
pushed Espa in. I feel like Espa is like the most mismanaged SM group currently. Um, they've had their schedules pushed back twice in 2022 for their seniors, and then they had two of the members recording like different music videos for non-ESPA related projects, and then recording Girls on Top's mini, which was good, but like, why are we having ESPA's like full album in Japanese debut? Like, why were those pushed back? Like, why do we have those pushed back SM? I don't know, I just feel bad for the management of ESPA because how are they supposed to compete with like other current fourth gen girl groups when they're having one comeback a year? And it, the thing is, Girls wasn't even that well received. So the fact that they didn't have another comeback or like some kind of repackage is insane to me. I just hope for this year that they're treated a lot better and SM's leading girl group actually gets the attention and recognition that they deserve. But that's just my opinion. I don't know. I still love this Giselle card, oh my goodness. And then I'm still gonna get the hollows for these, I think. I'm just taking my sweet time. Um, I keep forgetting about them, but I'll try and get some more. And then we have the Diddy pack. And then here's my whole non-album section. So first I have like their light stick cards. Um, I love these. And then their epoxy sticker. I'm just missing Winter. Um, I haven't found hers, so yeah. And then their cash bees, which I think Ning Ning has my favorite one. That is my dog. Then we have their like first round Cleo cards. And then I have Giselle's second round cards on the back. And then I have these like Medi Heal cards and some more in the back. And then for Savage, I decided to collect all the SM uh, Global Shop Pobs. I'm still missing three. It's been like, what, a year and a half? Almost a year and a half. Um, and I'm not done with these yet. I'm just missing this Giselle, this Winter, and this Ning Ning. That's literally it. And then I have like the exclusive cards here. And then here's like my random Winter page. Um, I might get rid of these two. I don't really like these two, but this card is literally like probably my favorite Espa card that I own. So cute. And then I have this random Ning Ning. Um, she just looks so pretty. And then I have their season's greetings cards from last year and then the K-Town free pre-order benefits. I don't know if I'm gonna collect their new season's greetings cards. I might cause they're really cute, but um, it just depends. Like, I don't know, maybe. Anyway, that was it for my Espa binder. The next binder I'm gonna show is my mixed groups binder. And then after this, we'll do my twice binder. And then that will be the end of this video. So here's my mixed groups binder. I just have this little one young Kirsch card in this little woods, um, what is this called? Photo card holder. Um, so yeah. So in here, the first group I have is Billy. For Billy, I collect Sun. For her, I collect all her album cards. And then I collect miscellaneous pre-order cards of hers. And then random pops of like the other members. Um, I just collect like whatever I find for a good price that I also like. So here we have Snowy Night. Um, this is like probably my favorite Shun card. I think it is so pretty. I love everything about this photo card, honestly. And then we have the Collective Soul and Unconscious. My goal this year is to finish or to find this Polaroid. Um, yeah, <laughs> like this is so sad, the fact that I don't have this done. And then I decided to pick up an OT7 slash six set since I'm not double collecting the Shun card. So I'm just missing Munsoa and Tsuki. Hopefully I can find these soon as well. I've been a little lazy with my Billy collecting. And then we have Pat Bingsu. Um, I don't really feel any way towards Pat Bingsu or these photo cards, but this is my least favorite Shun card, I think, ever. <laughs> then we have Ring My Bell or Ring My Bell. Um, yeah, I have no, I have no words. As you can tell, taking my time, 
Also, I don't know why. The fact that they've done a million fan signs and I, I'm still having trouble finding these cards. Like, I don't know. Anyway, here's my random pob section. I have these in era order, but not specifically in release order. Um, some of my favorites. I love this K-Town for you card. Um, this is like probably my favorite photo card of hers. Yeah. And then I have this Everline card, which I want to get the other one because she has this like really cute, I think it's like a plaid headband on or something. It's so, so cute. Um, so yeah. And then Sohyun is my second bias now. Yeah. So I love this card too. I think this is Tower Records. I don't know where all these are from though, so I'm so sorry. And then we have this page. This... Oh god, I don't remember what this is from, but this is so cute. Yeah. And then I have my random member section. Like, literally, this card... Oh my god, I can't fucking grab it. This is so cute. I kind of want to get Suhyun's too, but I don't know. And then don't even get me started on this photo card. I could go off about this photo card all day. It is the cutest. And this haram, like, literally... I love I love Billy oh my god okay next is my IVE collection so uh, in 2022 I was collecting my top three which were Yujin, Wanyoung, and Iso um, however I downsized to Wanyoung but I might I either I'm gonna drop my IVE collection or I'm gonna pick uh, Yujin back up because I love Iceland so yeah um, but I'm just missing one Wanyoung card and it's her version one of Love Dive but for her, I collect her album cards, except for I don't collect her jewel cases because then it would ruin like my three cards per era layout. And I don't give a fuck about jewel case cards either. So yeah, but I have 11 and after like completed. So I just need love dive. Um, yeah. <laughs> and then I have this like random one young collection section. What? I have this like eyes one unit card. I think this is like a Blue Eyes card of hers, yeah. And then I have this like D-Icon card, the One Young photo card, and then I have this Kirsch card. Um, I don't really click non-album for One Young, but I wanted somewhere to put these cards that I had for her, so yeah. Plus, I don't know if I'd ever be able to part with this photo card. Or this one, because I fucking love Yena and I fucking love Nako, so I don't know. Anyway. Next is my NCT collection. For NCT, I collect Jamin, and for Jamin, I collect all album photo cards, except for I don't collect his circle cards anymore. I still have them, I just don't put them in my binder. And then I also didn't collect his crew card for We Go Up because I don't like it. Um, so yeah. And then I also collect Xiao Jun from Wavy. For him, I collect all his album cards, except for his Kinos. Um, and then I am a little picky with like SMCU or like whatever. And then I'm this year, I would like to also pick back up a member of 127. I used to collect Taeyong, and I still have his photo card, so I might pick him back up again. Or I'll collect Jungwoo or Yuta. And then from the new unit, I would like to collect a member. It's either going to be Shotaro or... I think his name's Unsuk? Let me check. I have bad memory. Hold on. Let me turn on my computer. Yeah, I think it's Unsuk. Okay, so I either wanted to collect Unsuk or Sunghan. Yeah, so yeah, either Unsuk or Sunghan, which is so weird because I'm looking at K-pop files and I'm older than Sunghan, and that's so weird. I hate when idols, I hate when I'm older than idols. Anyway, um, yeah, so I'll probably collect them. I'm so sorry, that took me forever. Anyway, here's my Jamin collection. I love Jamin. Jamin was like my overall bias in NCT. I, he used to be an ult of mine, but now I'm like very picky with like ults and stuff. So I only have like two ults, but he used to be an ult um, and I still collect him. I love these photo cards. This empathy card, this we go up card and this we boom card are actually like three of my favorite Jamin cards of all time. Um, I love them. Yeah. So we have this page which has empathy, we go up, we boom reload no circle cards or crew cards and then we have resonance um i don't know if i'm ever gonna get this kino card unfortunately but i can dream 
I might get a replica just because I want this spot filled so bad in my binder. And then we have Resonance Part 2, which I have completed. I might get a new um, to, or arrival card though because this one is damaged. So I might have to get a new one because it's been damaged. It had like water damage when I bought it. So yeah, I might just get a new one and replace it. Um, so yeah. Then we have Hot Sauce, which is completed. I also love this boring version. Um, also another favorite diamond card of mine. I just love it. And then we have Hello Future. And this was the first time I ever pulled a Gemin photo card ever. I don't ever pull him. He like hates me. This is the first time I ever pulled him. And this card took me ages to get. So love that. And then we have Universe right here. And then SMCU. Um, I don't think I'm going to collect his or Xiao Jun's SM Palace cards. Unless I find them for like a good price. But like I'm kind of only planning on collecting Espa for that. But we'll see what happens. I don't know. And then we have glitch mode and beatbox. I still have this card on the way. I feel like it might have gotten lost from the person I traded with, which is um, not good. So we'll see what happens. Hopefully he shows up because I would like to finish this because I don't have a single card for candy yet because I'm like, I don't think I want to buy the album, honestly. I think I'm just going to buy the photo cards and I don't know. End citizens love to overprice, so we'll see. Anyway. Moving on, we have my Xiaojun collection. This is a relatively newer collection of mine, so I don't have a lot for him yet, but basically I'm gonna put his Awaken card here, his sequel card, and then his takeoff card, which I feel like I'm gonna have the most trouble getting. And then we have all of Resonance. Like I said, I'm not collecting his Kinos, so they're not included on here. So um, his ID, which actually I have this card in the way. Oops, I forgot to take the filler out. His yearbook card, and then his um, part two cards. And then we have like this SMCU card and then his kickback cards and his universe. And then I still haven't set up for Phantom either, um, which I, I loved Phantom. Um, but yeah, I still don't know what I'm gonna collect for that. I might only collect the Korean version cards, but I don't know. I've been out of nine pockets for a really long time, so I can't really set up for it anyway. Anyway, moving on, we have my NMIX collection. For NMIX, I collect Jinyi, Kyujin, and then I just started collecting Jiwoo as Jinyi is no longer in the group, so I want to collect a second member anyway. Um, so yeah, further debut, I just set up for Jiwoo's blind package stuff like a week ago or two weeks ago, so yeah. But here's how this page is looking right now. I love Edmix. And I was so sad to hear about Ginny leaving the group. Hopefully nothing weird happened or whatever. Hopefully it was like a mutual agreement and it was like all good. But I hope Ginny's doing all right. Um, I am gonna collect OT7 for the two Admir normal version cards though. So yeah, here's the set. And then this one, which is really sad because I only had my top two and then I had this Jiwoo, but hopefully I can finish these as well um, into the new year. Or, I mean, I keep saying the new year because I keep forgetting that it's 2023 and that it's been 2023. I don't know. Time just flies so fast. The older you get, the faster you perceive time. It's crazy. Um, and we have Antwerp, which is really sad. But this is when I started collecting Jiwoo. So, I'm going to put their, like, normal cards or whatever and their jewel cases. And then the limiteds down here and then the lenties. So... Yeah. And then I have my TXT collection. For TXT, I collect Bongyu. They had their comeback. I haven't set up for it. Like I said, I have no nine pockets. Um, so that's really awkward. But yeah, I'm just gonna collect like the three album cards from like the normal like album, whatever. Um so yeah, for Bumbu, I don't collect everything. I was collecting all his like photo cards after Blue Hour, but now I'm only collecting like the normal album cards because high groups are so expensive to collect and they're so hard to collect but i'm just missing this one card and then i'm missing the fight card and then his three cards um for what the fuck is it called whatever their new album is called i literally can't remember anyway that was everything i had for this binder so we'll move on to my twice binder and finish up the video
Okay, so here's my twice binder. Um, last year I collected OT9 for a bit, but I did drop and decided to collect my top three, OT9 for certain eras and then certain OT9 sets. My current top three are Sana, Dahyun, and Chaeyoung. I collect all their Korean album cards except for their Twice Coaster um, Christmas cards. And then I collect OT9 for Between 1 and 2 and uh, Taste of Love. And then I have collected OT9 sets and eras. I'm collecting Twice Coaster Lane 1 and 2 OT9. Um, and I think that's it. So yeah, anyway, just wanted to get that out of the way. So here we have page two, or I mean, the story begins. Um, yeah, this is really sad. I would like to get most of my Twice collection done this year um, and catch up pretty good, so yeah. And we have page two, which I just am missing three cards. And then here's the first air I'm collecting OT9 for, which is Twice Coaster Lane 1. I don't have fillers in like my binders because I'm too lazy to make fillers for everything. So there's like a lot of blank spaces. I'm really sorry. I know it looks really ugly, but it's like for me, I don't really care that much. Um, but yeah. Anyway, here we have lane two. Um, a little more progress here. And then we have signal. Um, so yeah. This is actually, like, this blue border set is one of my favorite twice sets, and I might actually change my OT9 set to the blue border one, purely because it's my favorite, but I don't know. And then I'm collecting the Signal Pose set as my OT9, but these cards are so hard to find, and they're so fucking expensive, I can't. Um, and then we have twice Instagram. Just need two cards. This era is almost done. Love that. And then Merry and Happy. I low-key forget this era exists, and then I never look for cards for it. So, yeah. Um, and then here's my What is Love collection. I have Chaeyoung fully completed for this era. And I think I also have her fully complete for Fancy You. Um, but yeah, Sana and Daihan, I am not even close on them. So, yeah. And that is my cat in the background, sorry. And then here's my first OT9 set. And then my second OT9 set. And then we have Summer Nights. This era I really need to work on. I actually really love the Summer Nights photo cards too, so I really gotta, you know, put in the work. And then here's my first OT9 set, which is the Glitter Border. I, this like has like one of my favorite Momo cards ever, so I want it so bad. So yeah. Um, and then this is my other OT9 set, which was I had, what the fuck am I saying? Which I had when I collected OT9. So yeah. Um, but I love this Chewy card so much and i love this mina and i love this jiko so yeah anyway here we have yes or yes this era is not my favorite um styling music wise photo card wise so i just don't really work on it but i would like to <laughs> put a dent in it i don't know um but yeah and then this is my OT9 set. I used to collect the hand card set OT9 because I was just missing Momos, but I gave up on looking for Momos and I think it'll be a lot easier to find these cards instead. So, yeah. And then the Year of Yes. I forgot I'm also trying to collect OT9 for this era because I love the Year of Yes. Like, I love the photo cards. They're so nice. So, yeah. I have Chaeyoung fully complete for this era though. And then I love this Sana card. So pretty. But yeah, these cards are just so nice. I love them. I love twice. You guys already know. Yeah. Um, and then we have Fancy You. Which, like I mentioned, I have Chaeyoung fully completed for this era. Also, I'm sorry that the pages in this binder are, like, dirty. Um, I used to use Silver Ultra Pro pages when I first started collecting. And so I started using them for my twice collection. Um, once I switched to Platinum. Since I didn't want to let all these pages go to waste. So yeah and then here's my ot9 set i click the ring pop set because i hate myself but yeah i'm just missing nyan Jangyeon, momo and Bahan. um really just worried about getting nyan and momos to be honest but yeah then we have feel special i'm almost complete on Cheon for this era too i'm just missing two cards which is nice um, i'm so excited to finish this page too because literally um, these two sets, the silver and the gold prop sets, are my favorite from this era, so yeah. 
let me have this page and then here's my first ot9 set and then my second ot9 set and then we have more and more which also um i don't know like this era is not my favorite actually some of the b-sides off the album are right like ones that i really like like i really love firework that's probably like one of my favorite twice b-sides but i always forget this album exists and i just don't look for the photo cards um so yeah and it sucks there's only nine cards per member as well so i really need to like haul ass but yeah and i really i honestly want to collect this set ot9 this era but then i would have like a gap so i'm not going to but anyway now we have eyes wide open this era is, these cards are so expensive. I don't know why, because I feel like Eyes Wide Open is one of their most popular albums, like music wise. So the fact that the photo cards are like harder to find and I feel like they're a little more expensive sometimes is really obnoxious as a Twice collector. I don't know. Um, but yeah. And then this is my OT9 set. Um, yeah. My goal like this year, I guess, would be to finish all my OT9 sets for eras that I'm not collecting OT9 for. So just like this OT9 set and then like my OT9 set from OT9 sets for what is love, feel special, etc. Like I like to finish those. Um, so yeah. And then here is Taste of Love. I am missing one card for this era and it's a fucking Momo card. Every time I see it, it gets sold immediately or like whatever, traded or whatever. And it's so annoying. But anyway, here's the Lentis. <laughs> and then we have this set. And then this is probably my favorite OT9 set of all time. This era was the era I first started collecting twice. I used to collect only Cheong, and she was the first member I ever collected. This was the era I started collecting from. I love this era. I love this set. This is my favorite set. Um, yeah, I know these cards are not everyone's favorite. Personally, I love this photo card set. This is my favorite. Just everyone needs to know that. So yeah. Um, but like this Jungyun, this Mina, this chewy card like these cards are just so beautiful i love i love twice and then this is my first ever ot9 set i completed ever so this set is very special to me i love and then we have this flower set which jihyo just always has to be different love her for that though and then this is the card that i'm missing this momo <laughs> i'm so sad but I'll get her. I will finish this era this year. Then we have Formula of Love, which is really depressing looking, but here's my setup for that. And then I'm also collecting the result file for my top three, so yeah. And then here's my OT9 set. I'm just missing Nyon and Dahan. And then I might collect Pop, I still have not decided, so we're gonna ignore that. And then here's my really sad Between 1 and 2 collection. This era has been out for a really long time, and I just have not even come close to finishing it. But yeah, here's the message cards. <laughs> Cryptography. Archive. The archive prop set. And then I think this is the Pathfinder, right? Is that what they're called? Um, yeah, I need to finish this era. This era is not even hard to collect. I'm just lazy. But yeah, that was everything for my Twice collection. And that was actually everything for this first half of the video. Um, so in my next video, I will be showing my entire Woods collection and my entire Luna photo card collections. Um, so yeah, if you're interested in seeing those, tune in for next week's video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate all of you who have made it this far, in, far into this video. I cannot talk. I love you guys. I hope to see you in my next video. Like, comment, subscribe if you want. I don't really care. Do whatever you please. Um, hopefully in the next six months, my binders will be so much nicer then but for the time being here's my instagram if you would like to follow me i'm sorry about the self, the self promo um but yeah anyway love you guys thank you so much we're blurry i haven't seen another one bye bye